The Washington Post reported this week uh, that the U.S. military is likely to send up to 1,000 more U.S. troops into northern Syria in the coming weeks as part of the fight against ISIS. Uh, you are a veteran uh, and have served on the Armed Services Committee. Do you support sending these additional troops? Jake, I'll review what Secretary Mattis and General Votel of Central Command recommend, as I'm sure President Trump is doing so. I don't think we ought to set arbitrary troop caps. That's what Barack Obama did for eight years in Iraq and in Afghanistan. We ought to look at our mission and the strategy necessary and the types of troops necessary to accomplish that mission. I will say that on this trip to Lebanon and Jordan and now in Israel, one consistent thing I've heard is the threat that Iran poses. As I've often said, the answer to most questions in the Middle East is Iran. And without Iran and Hezbollah and their activities in Syria, it's a big question whether or not the Islamic State would have risen to the power that they have now. So we have to, we have to ultimately destroy the Islamic State. But if we don't roll back Iran's gains throughout the region, we're not going to have stability and we're not going to defend U.S. interests to the degree that we should.